Hi, welcome to We Food Hard. So to get this 4th of July party started, we're going to start out with an appetizer dish. And this is what I call the firecracker peppers. So what you'll need is two to three roasted red peppers or however many that you're making, um, and you have them. Take out the seeds, very lightly brush them with some olive oil, and put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. You'll then take them out of the oven so we can fill them. For the filling, we're gonna use a cup of half cherry tomatoes, half a cup of calamala olives, or you could use green olives or black olives, whatever you prefer, and then also half a cup of feta cheese. And then we're gonna sprinkle some salt and pepper on top and just a dash more olive oil. So let's get this thing started. So as you can see, I had a little bit more of my filling left, so this would be good for about three peppers. And it also depends on how big the peppers are. Like this one was a little bit smaller, this one was a little bit bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them on a pan, and then I'm gonna put them back in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll see you when, they, when they're all done. All right, we're back, and our peppers are out of the oven. And if you just want to take a look at them, one thing I forgot to mention is that you can also cut up some green onion to top them with, so that's what I'm going to do right here. Put some on the plate, make it look pretty. They smell delicious, and I know they're going to taste so good. Something light but filling. There we have it. And don't forget, work hard, food harder. Hi, welcome to We Food Hard, and this week's cocktail is inspired by the 4th of July, and this is something that I like to call the sparkler. So what you'll need is a glass, some Sprite, or you could use like a white sparkling wine, a little bit of grenadine, some fresh blueberries, and also two ounces of vanilla vodka. Let's get this thing mixed. Here's a sparkler. Don't forget, work hard, food harder. There's nothing better than barbecue on the 4th of July, so we decided that we we're gonna try our hands with a barbecue chicken bacon pizza. So get ready. Because we, we food hard. hard. So in order to get this pizza started, we're gonna walk through our ingredients first. Instead of using a traditional pizza sauce, I'm gonna actually use a roasted garlic barbecue sauce as my base. I have some low moisture mozzarella cheese and some shredded provolone that I mixed together. I have some slow cooked pulled chicken that I added a little bit of our base sauce to just to get that extra barbecue in there. And then I also have some thin sliced partially cooked bacon and then to top it all off some red onion. Let's get this thing dressed. So we're gonna to toss this in the oven at 450 degrees for about 18 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna keep my eye on the cheese, how it looks. I don't want my cheese burnt, and I'm gonna keep an eye on the crust to make sure it has that nice golden brown. All right, so the pizza's out of the oven. It cooked for 20 minutes at 450 degrees. I have some rough chopped cilantro here that I'm gonna to add to the top of my pizza for a little bit of extra flavor. We're gonna let it sit for a couple minutes, we're gonna cut it, we're gonna enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. 
We love to hear some feedback from you guys. Make sure you share this recipe because it's sure to be a hit at your summer barbecues and for the 4th of July. Don't forget, work hard, food harder. Hi, welcome to We Food Hard. Next on our 4th of July menu is Uncle Sam's Sweet Treat. What we're going to be making today is a layered jello that is infused with vanilla vodka. So get ready. Because we, we food, food hard. hard. Alright guys, so to make Uncle Sam's Sweet Treat, you will need one box of blue jello, one box of red jello, some vanilla vodka, boiling water, cold water, and some fluff for the end. Let's get this thing started. Alright guys, so I'm just showing you these with three cups. You could put them in shot glasses you want. You could make it as like a whole cake. Um, but we're just going to use three right now just so you guys can see how to make them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the fridge and let them chill for about five minutes. While I'm doing that, I'm going to start getting my red gel already. See you soon. So just kidding guys, it's not five minutes that you're going to leave it in the fridge. Don't know why I thought it was five minutes. I haven't made these in almost a year. But we're going to let them sit in the fridge for an hour. Then we'll come back, then we'll do the red layer, let them sit for another an hour, then do the topping. See you guys in one hour, not five minutes. And we're back. So we have our blue layer done with our jello cups, and now we're going to go ahead and mix up our red jello, and then we're going to put them back in the fridge. So we're going to throw them back in the fridge and then just keep them in the fridge for a few hours until they're completely solid. See you soon. Finally, our jello layers are complete. So now all we have to do is top them with a dollop of fluff or you could use some Cool Whip, whatever you prefer. I like to eat the fluff so that's why I add the fluff on top. And then we're going to add some blueberries and some cherries. Let's get them finished. All right, they're all done. I ate that last cherry, I couldn't help myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, and don't forget, work hard, food harder. Hi, welcome back to our kitchen. And on today's 4th of July special menu, we're gonna be creating a Patriot pizza pie. Now, this recipe is a little bit more labor intensive, but it's totally worth it, trust me. So be sure to click on the link in the description below to get full details on the exact ingredients you'll need as well as the steps to create your own Patriot pizza pie. And get ready, because, because we, we food, food hard. Hi guys, so we're ready to get our Patriot pizza pie started. So in, you guys may have noticed that a lot of the ingredients we've been using throughout the videos this week um, are pretty much the same ingredients, but we're just making completely different dishes. And we did this because we know how much easier it is to go to the grocery store and buy a select few ingredients and then make a ton of dishes out of them. All right, so since we had an extra dough ball, we took the dough ball, rolled it out, and then I took a fork and I poked the dough, dough ball all the way around and in the middle, as you can see down here. Um, and what I did was I took about I'd say like half a tablespoon of just regular granulated sugar. I sprinkled that on top and then I put it in the oven for five minutes at 400 degrees. All right, so let's go ahead and get started.
So it's all set. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. I just wanna make sure that the brown sugar is nice and melted. So I'll see you guys when we bring it out of the oven. Our Patriot pizza pie is cooking and it's almost done. So we're gonna go ahead and start the topping mixture. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check in our Patriot pizza pie. I can smell it already and it smells delicious. See you soon. Our Patriot pizza pie is now out of the oven. I just want you to take a look. It is nice and golden around here. You can see that the crust is nice and firm. All the berries are melted. So, I'm gonna go ahead and tap it off. to enjoy. I hope you guys like this video and don't forget click on the link in the description below for a full list of the ingredients as well as how to make your own Patriot pizza pie. And don't forget work hard, food harder.